वेयर हाउस ऑटोमेशन कंपनी ग्रे ऑरेंज वॉज फाउंडेड इन 2011 बाय बिट्स पिलानी लोगनाय समय कोहली एंड आकाश गुप्ता ग्रे ऑरेंज ऑफर्स सॉर्टेशन सिस्टम्स बटलर सिस्टम्स पिक टू लाइट एंड पुट टू लाइट सिस्टम्स टू इट्स क्लाइंट्स द कंपनी हैंडल्स वेरियस कस्टमर्स इंक्लूडिंग फ्लिपकार्ट एमेजॉन जबॉन्ग एंड डिलीवरी द कंपनी क्लेम्स टू हैव नाइन्टी परसेंट मार्केट शेयर ऑफ इंडिया वेयर हाउस ऑटोमेशन मार्केट एंड इज अग्रेसिवली लुकिंग टूवर्ड्स साउथ ईस्ट एशिया एज इट्स मेजर मार्केट इट करंटली एम्प्लॉयज थ्री हंड्रेड पीपल एंड प्लान टू टेक डिस्काउंट टू फोर हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी इन द नेक्स्ट एट टू टेन मंथ सो आकाश हाउ डू यू स्टार्ट ग्रे ऑरेंज सो या सो आई थिंक आई एंड समय बोथ वी वर डूइंग रोबोटिक्स प्रोडक्ट कॉल्ड अख्युत इन बिट्स पिलानी अख्युत इज बेसिकली इंडिया फर्स्ट ह्यूमनोइड प्रोजेक्ट दैट वी डिड आई थिंक दैट रियली ओरिजिनेटेड द थिंकिंग ऑफ रोबोटिक्स एंड प्रोडक्ट डेवलपमेंट इन अस एंड गोइंग फॉरवर्ड आई थिंक दैट बिकेम वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट रीजन वाई वी स्टार्टेड डूइंग रोबोटिक प्रोडक्ट डेवलपमेंट इन इंडिया so i think uh, the interest at the beginning was not really robotics the interest was doing something or applying the physics chemistry and maths that we learn normally uh, in our studies on something and if you see robotics it's nothing but a combination of uh, computer science mechanical electronics uh, physics everything together right so i think uh, the thought was how can we apply whatever we have learned uh, in uh, different su- subjects together into one certain piece right and robotics seem to have uh, that kind of uh, you know field where you can uh, really apply your science knowledge into something uh, which you can see as a hardware and as a product right so i think uh, that's that's how we developed our interest in, in robotics product for me it uh, started growing from college itself i think samay was more uh, uh, more into it uh, in his 11 12th as well but for me i think we started i started looking at uh, uh, at least the mechanics part of it uh, while from the college while i've done some kind of i would say hacking uh, projects in electronics science computer science uh, initially in the school days as well so what is the business model of gray orange so uh, gray orange is a, a product based company hmm. uh, so we have products uh, however we understand uh, uh the customers problem and uh, build up a solution around our products and give to the customer so so yeah i think uh, we we do sell solutions uh, which are around our products uh, to different uh, which solve uh, uh, you know problems at different uh, customers in warehousing and logistics industry so what problems are you solving so i think uh, warehousing if you look at from a you know 30000 feet view uh scale flexibility adaptiveness to peaks i think these are one of the biggest problems uh, in industry again when we go slightly deeper uh, accuracy and then speed of doing things uh, are uh, not doing redundant things and making things lot more predictable in the supply chain i think these are the bigger level problems that we are looking at if you look at on ground problem then our products uh, are uh, uh, so in warehousing when you see there is um, storage of inventory retrieval of inventory mm-hmm. and then sorting so these are the three major steps of uh, any warehouse inside the four walls uh, and uh, our butler system as a product solves the problem of retrieval and you know storage of inventory and sortation system solves the problem of uh, after you have packed orders or items into packages how do you sort them into different things so yeah that's that's how our product portfolio you know solves problem in the warehousing industry so this is what you are today but you know take me through the journey from the idea stage right so i think uh, uh, f- uh, the story in when the w- at the very beginning we were not doing product development uh, we are a company which was uh, uh, doing into robotic education we did for 6 to 8 months uh, as robotic education company but we realized uh, that what we were doing as a in acute as a project was more of a product development and uh, then we shifted into you know kind of pivoted into uh, doing products for different companies mm-hmm. so we did a couple of a uh, uh, product for a medical company we did a product for a company in louisiana and things like that uh, six months down the line we realized that while we were doing lot of products for other companies we were not really building one single great product 
right or multiple great products which is focused into something and then we kind of figured out okay let's choose our industry and do a product for for that industry and that's how we got our interest uh, into warehousing as a as an industry and then uh, develop uh, you know products for warehousing logistics industry again one of the very big reason of choosing this industry was that uh, the penetration of technology into warehousing and logistics industry is not that high and uh, you know the industry is pretty much uh, known as an unsexy industry really so that's that's uh, one reason why we chose uh, you know warehousing as an industry to build uh, technology products into so that we can see technology into this industry uh, how did you bootstrap your venture so i think uh, we bootstrapped it for at least a year i think that's uh, in in 2011 uh, uh, we were uh, running this without uh, any funding or anything like that uh, so yeah after a year when we were more clear about what we really want to do and how we can uh, you know go forward with this that is the point where uh, we we figured out what are the products you want to do in next 2 to 3 years and things like that done with the we, we got a prototype out and then that was a point where we you know started raising for our first round Good. take me through the journey of your first round like how did that happen so i guess uh, uh, uh first round for us first round was done by bloom and uh, uh, there's another guy from uh, germany called uh, wolking holton uh he is kind of our third co-founder as well so so we uh introduced our ideas to them uh, uh, that this is what we are going to do and uh, of course even back in uh, 2011 12 right uh, the hardware was not that common in india to build a hardware company uh, i i am sure now a lot of things are catching up uh, so so i think uh, it was a niche idea people uh, uh people were not very sure of how is it going to come along but uh, everybody was sure that uh, we can definitely look at building something which is a hardware company in india and uh, with our background in akyot and things like that i think that uh, that would have inspired a lot of confidence in uh, you know that people showed in us so so yeah we shared the idea figured out what's the prototype is had some idea of how we going to get our revenues and things like that so that's that's how it uh, finally went through what is the revenue model of grey orange so uh, for revenue models i think uh, we right now do both kind of things mm. so it's it's a one time capa- capital thing as well so you kind of sell a machine and uh, you know do a one time thing uh, we have also looked at uh, places where uh, it's a, it's a ongoing recurring model where you 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 know provide a service of let's say sorting or picking off for your product uh, for different companies so we are looking at uh, both the models uh, actively uh yeah so that's that's how we are looking at uh, you know having a revenue model so what are the current products offerings of grey right so currently we have uh, you know three major products uh, the the first one uh, is a sortation system mm-hmm. sortation system is basically a conveyor based system uh, that sorts uh, packages whether it is poly packs whether it is boxes anything like that right uh, we are at this point of time uh, where we can sort uh, Uh, we have machines which can sort 3000 packets an hour 6000 packets an hour we are coming up uh, with a new machine in uh, uh, you know january which can do 12000 packets an hour uh, the next product uh, that we have is a uh, butler system butler system is nothing but uh, a group of uh, very intelligent autonomous ground vehicles uh, with a uh, a uh, warehouse control systems layer over it which uh, helps you in fulfilling um, orders as well as inventory storage a uh, third product that we have which is a smaller product uh, is pick to light and put to light systems mm-hmm. uh, these contain pick to light units and as well as uh, the software that uh, helps people in uh, you know solving different uh, problems in logistics industry in fact uh, now we have also uh, you know uh, entered into manufacturing industry with uh, uh, pick to light systems we have uh, mahindra as our client which we are doing uh, uh, kitting with these pick to light systems in their uh, manufacturing plants so yeah these are the three major products uh, all of our products come with a very very sound software as well as a graphical user interface for people to uh, use it in the most uh, efficient way so we are uh, looking at uh, warehousing logistics manufacturing uh, these are the three main areas we are looking at uh, in terms of uh, for our uh, current products i think uh, 
uh, sortation system and all, uh, we are definitely looking at uh, retail and uh, even pharmaceuticals and uh, you know these these kind of industries uh, where we are spare part management again is a very very you know uh, in uh, you know important industry for us uh, for now. So automobile spare part management and uh, pharmaceuticals these are the new industries that we are entering now. Tell us about your e-commerce clients in the country. So I think uh, e-commerce, we are uh, pretty much everywhere. I think uh, the top uh, three to four e-commerce uh, companies we have uh, already ha already have installed uh, 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 sortation systems. We are going uh, along with Butler Systems also with few of the clients. So so yeah, I would say top three to four uh, you know uh, customers do use our sortation systems in a huge way. We have a capacity of uh, around I think. Uh, 10 to 12 uh, lakh packets a day uh, in in India wide. So yeah, we are we are doing a lot of sortation uh, systems with our uh, you know, current e-commerce clients in India. What do you pre-assume will be your biggest market in the coming times? So I think uh, Southeast Asia as a whole is a huge huge market. Although we are uh, definitely looking at uh, India, China, Japan as our uh, three major markets in our next uh, one year. And I think then we'll be looking at Middle East and Europe uh, as an extension. But I think next one year we are uh, majorly looking at India, China, Hong Kong, Japan. I think these are the markets which uh, we think are really big and we would like to you know extend our product offering successfully to them. Tell me about your competition like. Who do you consider as your competition in the country and outside? Right, I think um, in India the manual systems are our uh, competitions really. Mm -hmm. in, in terms of butler systems I think uh, there are just uh, you know three to four uh, uh, you know companies in the world who make a system like that. So yeah, we are looking at uh, uh, some companies like uh, you know Swiss Log and all uh, who, who are uh, you know building similar systems. Uh, in in terms of I think sortation systems, uh, uh, the competitors are very like the the big MNCs like Siemens and uh, you know things like that. So yeah, that's these are the two class of competitors we have. Yeah. So what do you think are the great hardware startups coming up in the country? I think uh, I've seen few coming uh, in terms of uh, IoT in Bangalore. I think uh, uh, they are doing. Uh, I've seen few coming in home automation as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, so these are the companies who have started looking at how do you do, you know, hardware, software, product together, and you know, uh, having things like uh, home automation or let's say uh, monitoring system in industries or or any of those, right? Even uh, uh, right uh, these days, the uh, 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 the accessory industry has also grown. So, health accessory industry. So, you got those bands and things like that, where people have started, uh, you know, innovating on hardware so yeah that's the, these are the areas where people are now starting with hardware uh, you know companies in the next one year what new offerings will i see from grey right so i think in next uh, one year we have a new sortation system with the uh, 12000 uh, you know per hour 12 to 18000 per hour uh, you know capacity i think that's something that we are launching in uh, january march uh, time frame we are lo also looking at uh, newer versions of butler systems which uh, with much uh, better capabilities uh, we are looking Looking at a butler system which can uh, also handle pallets, uh, I think uh, that's that's what we are extending as our product offering in next uh, one year. What does future hold for Grey Orange? What do you try to bring in the market? Right, so I think. Uh, as a future hold, uh, we are looking at uh, expanding in Southeast Asia in a very rigorous way. Mm -hmm. I think we have already had our uh, first uh, butler installation uh, outside India in Hong Kong. Uh, we are looking at uh, Japan, Singapore, Hong Kong, China as our uh, next uh, markets. I think in India, in our sortation system, we do hold around 90% uh, of our market share. Mm -hmm. uh, we are looking to extend uh, similar things in Southeast Asia. So right now the the target is to kind of uh, you know extend our product offerings in uh, these com these countries and have a good sales and support systems in there so what do you think is the funding scenario for all the hardware and iot startups yeah i think uh, uh, it is improving a lot i i think it's much much easier than uh, uh, 2012 when we did our uh, first round um, uh, although I think uh, it's important for hardware based companies uh, to uh, 
to have an idea of what do they see as a product vision before uh, really raising because once you start raising uh, the clock also starts ticking and uh, you would want to use your money in a right way so it's important for uh, hardware based companies to kind of uh, understand and have a good product vision before they go and you know raise uh, funds and uh, but i'm sure the 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 wave is coming and uh, things are improving in hardware industry in india so yeah i think uh, uh, right now uh, it's a good scenario and everybody is definitely you know encouraging people to come into hardware industry in india yeah. so how many people will you have by the end of this year so i think uh, right now we are around uh, 290 to 300 people company with around uh, 200 engineers uh, we are looking at uh, you know getting to the point of around 400 450 uh, people by let's say in next uh, 8 to 10 months that's that's what we are uh, really looking at uh, yeah so so we still going to have a very very strong uh, r&d team while we are expanding our sales and customer support and operations as well some young entrepreneurs are watching this so mm-hmm. what do you have to tell them i think uh, as a hardware startup uh, the only advice i would want to give them is that uh, it's important uh, to be quick uh, it's a, as as a hardware and it's important to you know uh, i trade a lot uh, initially uh, i i'm sure when you kind of uh, once you have released the product it's tough to do that but initially when you are at the prototyping stage and you release your alpha and beta you know products it's important that uh, you do i trade a lot and i trade very quickly so if you got to fail fail quickly at a product and then so that you can do the another one very quickly or another version or improved version very quickly so i think uh, uh do not get into the shells and say that you know i'm going to uh make one perfect product after 12 months it's important to make those you know if one version every two months and iterate and improve because i think that's that's a much better way to do a hardware product right. we initiated the two products at a time so we did sortation system and butler system both at a time i think as a hardware product company it's one of the very very tough things to do so it's it's if you have a option do not do two products at a time right at least start with one product and then uh, when you have some maturity in that then do the second product i think uh, now once we have struggled uh, out of it i think it's a good thing for us that we have uh, two revenue lines and two product lines but i think uh, uh, it's good to kind of start focusing on one thing initially before you divert your attention into two uh, products uh, you know at the very beginning Do you think the unicorn will come out of a hardware industry? I think a hardware industry is something that uh, that will enable that because uh, you are not only earning through software uh, mm-hmm. you are making a complete product right and uh, a product uh, can be uh, can be used to solve a lot of problems in different industries so you can have one product which are so solving multi pro- multiple problems in different industries so I think uh, uh as a hardware company a unicorn should definitely be more probable we are definitely looking to be a company which definitely is valued at a billion dollar in next 2 uh, 2 two, 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 three year timeline i think uh, we already have a decent uh, revenue uh, chunk and uh, while we are expanding uh, uh, you know expanding ourselves in southeast asia i think uh, we are establishing a very very strong uh, sales and uh, you know support team uh, to you know get that expansion uh, done in a good way uh we are also looking to extend our r&ds in different other regions so i think uh, yeah that's that's uh, uh, that's where we are looking to do or uh, looking to do in next 2 to 3 years yeah i'm grateful to you for talking to us mm-hmm. thank you Best so much for giving audience thank you